gotten a lot of requests on the new camera that I bought. What did I receive and what did I have to do to make it work for me? So, here is the camera that I bought. And it comes with this carrying case, the camera itself, has a gimbal. What makes it good is that it doesn't really look like a camera and it's easy to hide. It has this little screen. And I'll tell you, the screen isn't good for much. It's barely useful. Uh, I don't know if you can imagine how small this really is, but that's a thumbnail. Two thumbnails and that screen is covered. And I only have size 9 hands. So I'll get to that later. And then it comes with this adapter. So to initialize this, this camera doesn't work out of the box. You have to initialize it. So you put this in. And what I didn't realize is it's a C-type USB. So I had a Samsung S7 Plus phone which is the micro USB, I could not initialize this camera once I bought it. Well, you know, it has a nice carrying case. Get to that later. So I actually had to replace my phone. Fortunately, there was a situation where I could do that without uh, spending hardly any money. But now I have the Samsung S8 Plus, and it has a C-type. So I could plug that in and initialize it. But that wasn't enough. <clears throat> when you have this camera and this gimbal, you have to position it correctly because it's going to lock into position. So no matter how I move it, See, it's going to tilt, and it's going to keep pointing to whatever it is. And uh, it's not always in the right position, so you have to move it up and down. Now, you can do it on the screen, but you see it's barely cooperating. When you're out in the sun, uh, this method really doesn't work. So that was a huge problem. Uh, also, a problem with this camera is the processor is extremely small. What that means is the way it handles light and dark uh, is not the best in the world. It's not a very good low light or, or dark lit camera. And so what can happen is if you're outside, the sun in the sky and the clouds can overwhelm what's going on on the ground. So we had to correct those things. Step number one. This is called an essential expansion kit. It's essential because it's essential. <laughs> Why it's not part of the original package, it, it's, it's a mystery to me other than they can charge an extra hundred and some odd dollars for it. So what do you get? Well, you get this mount where you can use a GoPro style and you can put it on a tripod or whatever it is you want to mount it to. Nothing here. There's no uh, place where you can put it on a tripod. And if you're inside on a stable surface like this, it's fine. But you can imagine outside, that's not going to happen. So you get a mount. This is the holy grail here. This is the thumb wheel. You can go up and down. You can also click it, go left and right. I don't really find much use for that, but the up and down is essential. So if you're gonna buy this camera, uh, you pretty much need this up and down. And then you've got a couple uh, quick buttons here. Press it once, press it twice. Save you from having to go on the screen and hunting for those, uh, those buttons. 
And the last thing you get here is you get a wireless base. Now you can plug this in like so. You've got a more stable base, which is which is nice, but it's also wireless. So you can connect your Wi-Fi or your camera's Bluetooth to the phone. So you can actually control the operation of this without having the phone physically connected to it. And so that's that's a plus. I've only used it once, but I can see where there's applications for it. If I were a spy, the biggest application is you put this somewhere, you know, in a kind of a covert location, and then you can stand in another location, and with your phone, you can move this around and view various things in a room. But I'm not a spy, so it doesn't really do me much good. But it's useful. So you buy this entire kit to get this piece that's essential, and in my opinion, because it's so essential, it should have been included, but it's not. And the light situation that I mentioned. Because of what this camera is and how small it is, it needs some help handling light. So you need to get some filters. So I bought a kit that was $50 and instead of if I bought these single usage or other kits, I could have spent a lot more money. Uh, this kit for $50 came with a few things I don't really need, but it was still more cost effective. And it's a high end. They're actually glass lenses. Uh, so it's a very good quality. It comes with a micro and a macro lens. And they're magnetic. So you take the camera here and it just magnetically snaps into place. Now you have to be careful with some of these, like the one I just showed you, because the magnet doesn't go all the way around. It can come off if you're not careful. If you bump it, it can come off. Now some of these, like this filter, it's all the way around and it fits more flush and that's really not going to come off it's also if you think about it even if you don't have any use for a filter it's kind of a good lens protector you know you see pop this on you got that lens protected so those are a must now, i will tell you that i didn't know what i would need and so i got 8 and 16 um, for the filters they're ultraviolet filters. So I got I got that. I really probably should have gotten 32, maybe even 64. So the 8 is a good lens protector, but it's not really good for much else, to be honest with you, at least down here with the type of sun that we get. Uh, 16, it, it, it's okay. It, it's marginally better. 32 would have really been the sweet spot. Didn't know. It's already ordered. I'll live with this. Now... I want you to look at this situation. So we get the camera and we plug in this scroll wheel. Snaps right in. It's pretty simple. It's going to work well. All right. And let's say you got the base. Let's say that you have use for it as a base. All right. So that's great. So here we've got the carrying piece it comes with. Doesn't fit. Okay, so maybe it's the base. We'll take the base off. All right. Guess what? Still doesn't fit. So, you buy another case. And in case you buy another case, here's what you get. This, wait a minute here. See, this will slide in. Got the thumb wheel. Goes like that. So now you've got a carrying case. It's larger 
So of course this one fits in your pocket pretty comfortable. This one will still fit in your pocket, but it's quite a bit bulkier as you can see. The upside is, is you can add a number of things to it. This piece that you need, well guess what? Slides right into the back, so you've always got it. These filters here, filters and lenses, they slide right down into here. Six spaces, and I've got six filters. Oh, look at that magnet, go crazy. All right, so they fit right in there. How handy is that? And it widens down here so you can actually use the Wi-Fi base. So now I can actually carry everything these things are so expensive, you know, my concern before was losing it. And you really need to have some kind of case to stabilize this unit because of this gimbal. If you don't have it stabilized when it's not in use, when it's not powered on, you have the potential of damaging it or even breaking it. If you put this in your pocket, just with it like this, you may break it. And if you do that, there goes the camera. That's the heart and soul of this camera. So, you know, 400 bucks down the drain. Uh, you can buy this for about $300 on Amazon. Uh, with shipping and taxes, I ended up paying uh, 400 and something for it. $50 for these filters. This case, I believe, was about $15, $17. This thing, I don't recall exactly, it was 100 or $150. I thought it was pretty outrageous for what it was. On the other hand, you have to have this thumbwheel. And the last thing I got, because it was so cheap and it seemed like a good idea, is this unit. It actually comes apart and you can use it for different things. But what you have here is you can put bar here. You can put this in here. Hook up your phone connector and then put your phone here. I'm not actually connecting it. And then you can control the camera with this phone and you can walk around and carry that. Or you can even set it down because it's kind of a built-in mount this entire uh, unit here was uh, I think it was around twenty dollars so this was a all right what the heck I've already spent too much money let me throw this in maybe I'll use it because of what I do I do mostly covert and so this would no longer make it covert but there are times when that will come in handy so I'm actually glad I got it I've tried it uh, twice now and it works quite well so for you know the 20 21 dollars it's certainly worth it uh, one last thing I'll say about this is I don't really do um, vlogging with this in other words I don't walk around and show my face if I walk around I'm showing the scenery but for people who do that it could be very useful you can put in this wide-angle lens So if you do vlogging with a camera, uh, this thing is pretty killer, but you will need to use a wide angle lens because uh, otherwise you can extend your arm full length and your face is still too close in the screen. It's just the way that it's set up, so you have to modify it. But as I said, you can get a wide angle or you can get a macro lens if you like to uh, film bugs up close. Last thing I'll say about this camera is the end product, the quality of the end product 
is really, really good. You can go 4K, 60, and um, it's, it's just tremendous as long as you're able to manage the lighting situation. And of course, you've got your little SD card here. It does not come with an SD card, so you're also going to have to buy that. One of the questions I was asked is, if you buy this camera, do you need any extras? Well, that's what I made this video for. You can walk through and you can see what you need. I would say an absolute minimum, if you need this thumb wheel, you're going to need, you need this thumb wheel and you're going to need that SD card. So, this has very little to do with South America, but I've received so many inquiries on this. I just figure this Osmo Pocket Camera deserved a video on its own to answer all of those questions. See you next time.